Hello everyone, and welcome to Sweet Mechanisms, where we make studying processes in the body as fun and sweet as dessert, literally. Today we are going to discuss the fascinating topic of reverse cholesterol transport by using cupcakes. Reverse cholesterol transport is the process in which HDL, our good cholesterol, travels to the peripheral tissue in the body to pick up cholesterol and bring it back to the liver to be used. This process is great for our body because it is anti-atherogenic and anti-inflammatory. Overall, it prevents cardiovascular disease. OCT begins in the liver by producing nascent HDL. The cupcake pan represents the liver and the cupcakes represent the HDL. As you can see, the cupcake is decorated with an assortment of candy. After the nascent HDL is produced, lipidation occurs and the phospholipids, our orange starburst, cholesterol, our green skittles, ApoE and ApoC are placed on our apolipoprotein ApoA1. This nascent HDL then travels through the blood to peripheral tissues such as myocytes and adipocytes. Once, Once nascent HDL reaches peripheral tissue represented by our dessert plate, cellular efflux of cholesterol occurs via two transporters. First, our fork represents transporters ABCA1 and ABCG1, which promote cellular efflux unidirectionally. Second, our knife represents SRB1, which engages in bidirectional transport of lipids, but more on that later. As HDL picks up cholesterol esters represented by our orange skittles, as well as more phospholipid and cholesterol, a polar bilayer is formed and our HDL is now considered mature. Also contributing to this polar bilayer is an important plasma enzyme known as LCAT, which esterifies cholesterol to cholesterol esters. The mature HDL then travels back through the blood to the liver, where our bidirectional SRB1 takes in the cholesterol. The cholesterol, cholesterol esters, and phospholipids can then contribute to bile and bile acid production. I'm your host, Elizabeth Nolan, and thanks for joining us today on Sweet Mechanisms. Have a sweet day.